today i am going to discuss with you about a trick of about how to find secondary current of a transformer within 2 seconds here we have a distribution transformer of 1000 kva and 50 hertz and its voltage is 11 kv on the primary side and 400 voltage on the secondary side it is a dry type transformer its primary side is delta connected and the secondary side is star connected that means y connected that means its neutral is already grounded this transformer's secondary current is is equal to 1000 this 1000 is from this 1000 kva okay this 1000 into 1.4 this 1.4 is the magic value so if you multiply these two together then you will get 1400 ampere now i will explain how you got this 1.4 we know that our normal power equation is p equal to root 3 into vi here i wrote is that means the secondary current of this transformer so is equal to p by v root 3 is equal to our p is 1000 kva by 400 into 1.732 and now i wrote this same thing like this 1000 this kva i wrote it over here and after that this 1000 is the kilo i converted this kva to the normal va that means i wrote 1000 for the kilo and after that this 400 and this root 3 okay when we calculate these things together we got 1.4 that means this 1000 multiplied by 1.4 is 1400 ampere and one thing you need to remember this 1.4 would be got only if you have the voltage of the secondary side is 400 volt if your transformer's secondary voltage is different from this then you need to write all this equation and find out this magic value it would be different from this value and one more thing you need to remember uh, here our power is in kva okay so we don't need to put the cos theta or power factor in our equation if only the power is in kilowatt then only we require power factor to include in this equation now we don't need the power factor this trick will be very useful when you go for an interview it will save your time and here one thing you need to note our secondary side current is very high it's due to the low voltage on the secondary side our secondary side voltage is only 400 volt but when we find the current on the primary side of this transformer you could see that it would be very less it's because the primary side voltage is very high that is 11 kV i already made a video about how to find the primary side current of a transformer so please visit my channel and grab that information whenever the voltage is higher the current will be lower it happened here also that means the voltage and current are inversely proportional i hope you got my point if you want to see more videos like this please visit my channel and subscribe it thank you